Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, we're talking about how you can be making a ton of coins with the Madden Trail promo. You have a couple different options when doing this promo. This is one of the better ones we've had for free to play players so far this year. You could either get a massive free to play, you can get a ton of coins, you could save a bunch of players for upcoming promos. You have a lot, you have a lot of different decisions to make, and we'll show you how you can be making coins and maybe socking up some players instead in this promo. If you guys are new to the channel, make Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. 70% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to get this video to 200 likes. So, it is Sunday of Madden Trail, which means this is the third, fourth day that the promo has been out. We got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday coming up. Um, if you didn't see my video yesterday, I showed you how to get the Sugar Rush Egg card, which tomorrow we will be able to claim, and I will make a video on it. We'll talk about it. We'll see what's going on with that. But so far, I think this promo has been pretty solid. Um, like I said, it's very it's very free to play friendly. We can each each player can get a master without having to spend any coins, any gems, anything like that. Um, or if you want to, you can spend a ton of coins and get some of the players. Or if you have leftover players, you could probably easily get two of these masters if you've been saving free to play. If you've been smart enough with the prior promos, you could definitely get two of these masters done. But today we're talking about getting the 91 plus players and making coins from them or saving them for up coming promos so um let's go over some of the math of the promo a little bit um once again stewart had a free-to-play guide uh on reddit so i will leave a link to that in the description if you want to see more breakdown math of how to get a master free-to-play but i'm using some of the numbers from that uh kind of whole reddit post to be able to make this video so uh one of the major things that you're getting from the promos obviously are the different cards and you're also getting a ton of 81 plus players so over the whole week because you have 70 seven days in the promo over the whole week you'll get 560 cards and 168 81 season 6 players you're getting the 81s from playing the first wins of these events and then after that um, you're getting a bunch of the cards in all of the events you're getting seven for each first win here you're getting pretty much four for each first win on the other one on the blitzes and then you should have enough every single day to complete these blitz events four more times to get uh, eight more badges because you do get two badges in total so like I said um, 80 cards per day so 560 cards over the course of the entire promo which will be going on for a few more days here so if you've been playing you've been getting your stuff then you are on track you're on pace to make a ton of coins here so let's go to the sets and something that we've had included in every single promo this month so far are these exchanges where you can get some lower players trade those up for the higher players using some of the collectibles and trading them all the way up to a 91 pluses and these have proven to be huge money makers I would say these 81 plus players are going for about 20k right now, so if you get 168 of them, if you just sold those outright, it would you would probably get about 3 and 3.5 million out of it. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more depending on what you sell them for. So your goal is not just sell all these guys, but trade them up to get some higher overall cards. So if you go to sets, like I said, you go to here. So you have a couple different options. Obviously, if you want a master, you can't really do it too much. You might be able to get one master and then kind of save some stuff. And, uh, you know, you might have a few leftover items. Not a lot, but you might have a few leftover things, um, depending on what you're doing. Obviously, you can go for a master and just buy all the cards you need, or if you had any leftover from previous promos. But if you're kind of starting from scratch in the promo, you're just using whatever you get from the promo you can make a ton of coins or get a ton of players whatever you want so obviously you're trading a bunch of these up so if you're getting 168 of those players that means you can do this set 84 times 84 times with these 81s that you're getting throughout the promo and you are going to be using 336 of your 560 badges to be able to get all of these players up to 86 plus players like i said which means you're going to have 84 86 plus players so now let's go on the auction house and see what that will give us Looks like these cards are going for a very wide range. I'm going to snipe a couple of these. I think you could probably sell these for 150k because you can see that they're kind of at the three hour mark, which means they're getting bought. Um, but it looks like some are getting up. People aren't sniping them, I guess. Uh, or maybe the round just dropped and a bunch of really good stuff I'm getting here. It looks like none of them got bought other than what I got. So maybe people just aren't trying to snipe these cards because they're so easy to get. But let's say you could sell them for 150k. That would get you almost 13 million, million coins. 12 to 13 million coins 
coins. Uh, I the exact number is twelve mil million six hundred thousand coins. If you just straight up sold all these for one hundred fifty k, you may not be able to depending on the server. But if you got all for one hundred fifty k, that is twelve point six million coins just for trading those all up to eighty sixes. But what I think you should do definitely is do this set now. It's gonna cost a lot more of your badges. But like I said, if you're not going for a master, I would recommend that you do this set here. So what you do is you're gonna trade in obviously four of those eighty six pluses, and then you're gonna trade in five of any badge here you have remember 84 86 pluses divided by four you're going to get 21 times that you can do this set times five times five badges is going to be only 105 cards so you can do this set 21 times with remaining cards now obviously you're not going to be able to do a lot with those remaining cards unless you buy more players which doesn't seem like too bad of an idea however like i said 21 times you can do this set 21 at 91 plus overalls in this promo literally just from playing the events and trading all your badges up So let's go see what the 91s are going for as you can see for under 650k they're all sold now if we bump it up maybe 675 probably expiring honestly uh let's see eh, i would say 675 is pretty fair if we go up to 700k i think they're all expiring i think i looked at this a little bit ago so if we look um yeah i would not say 700 so let's say 675k you have 21 of those Guys, that's gonna get you 14 million coins. 14 million, unbelievable. So you, obviously you have a couple options here. A lot of the promos I think are going to be using these 91 plus players. This is probably the most abundant we've had them in a promo and the fact that there's still this many coins is kind of crazy to me, honestly. If everyone was able to get this amount, we would be, like I said, it would be, it's crazy. Everybody's able to get that amount. Now, obviously not everyone's selling them or whatever, but these cards have a lot of value. So you have a couple different options. Obviously you could go for a master still um, and kind of just buy, you have all those players. You can maybe buy some of these players and get some of the masters, or you could, you know, sell them for 14 million coins. If you are a new player, let's say there is a new player in this game who logs on for the first time. He plays a promo. He hasn't played since Man Mobile 16, where the most coins he's ever had was three to four million in seven days he could make 14 million coins if he wanted to which is absolutely insane it's, it's so easy to make coins this year uh so anybody who needs coin methods the promos are the coin methods themselves you have to choose between a master and coins if you want a master for your team you can't get coins if you want coins you can't get a master for your team unless you buy them later which is probably always going to be the smartest thing to do or we have promos coming up primarily the easter promo which is going to be one of the biggest promos we have all year which is probably going to require more of these players so it might be smart if you just save them keep them on your bench so you don't have to you know rebuy them later or use some of the old stuff if you're if you don't feel like you want any of the masters in this promo you'll probably want some stuff in easter then you've got you th the point of this promo was to just stock everything up and you can trade all those in maybe get a couple different masters in easter rather than one now one later so you have a couple different options you could be making a ton of coins getting a a ton of masters whatever you want to do uh, with this promo so this is one of the better promos I think we've had all year uh, but that's just about it for the video guys today's post notification shout out goes out to slick kid be the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post notification shout out but anyways guys that's just about it for the video I hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm goose TV and I'm out I will see you guys later